Hello, sim racers around the world. Steel Jockey here, bringing you some more information on Project Cars 2. This is still a work in progress. It's due out September 22. So I've just shown you a little while ago some information on the menu system. One of them was the Race Engineer, an exciting new development in this game. Race Engineer is designed to help you tune your car when you're having some questions about which bits you should change to try and make your car handle better or handle the way you like, you can pop in and see the race engineer. So today we're going to have a quick look at the Ford GT LM GTE and we'll start up a session here so we can get into the tuning menu and have a look at how the race engineer works and what sort of an effect it can have on your tuning of your car. So just waiting for the session to start up here. Alright, so we go into the tuning setup and we have the race engineer here and the edit setup. So I just want to pop in and show you something quickly on the edit setup looking on this car. Uh, one of the things we will quickly look at is the brake pressure. 89% is set in the car at the moment and the brake balance is 55 front, 45 rear. So I'm just going to quit back out of that and we'll go in and have a look at what the race engineer is and what he does to your setups. So clicking on the race engineer, here we have some options to have a look at with the race engineer is the braking, downforce, suspension and gearing. Today we'll just look at the braking one and clicking in the braking tab, uh, the race engineer will ask you some questions. What is the issue with the braking on your car? And he'll give you some options, or she will give you some options depending on which which engineer is working in your crew in this modern world. Uh, so some of the questions are, oh, I'm not stopping in time, I'm stopping too quickly, I keep sliding when I'm braking. So you can click on one of these options here and we'll start having a look at some different things. So clicking on that first one, if you're not already doing so, I'd recommend braking a little earlier for the turns. Aside from that, changes to brake pressure or brake bias may also help. We can either look at increasing the brake pressure to improve brake power, or we can shift the brake bias. We can look at increasing brake pressure, which will make them more powerful. So having a look here, that's the options that they give you is increasing the brake pressure from 89 to 90%, moving the brake bias, or we can just go back to the race engineer menus or the other menus. So I have a quick look at here. So remember how I had the tuning was at 89%. So if I click on that, it'll take it to 90%. And just uh, going on here, I'm not stopping in time. One of the other options was, well, it can show you here by already changing it to 90%. It now it's offering to change to 91%. We can also look at moving the brake bias. So we might change it to say moving the brake bias a little bit more rearwards considering this car is a mid-engine car can uh, certainly use a little bit more rear brake in, in my own opinion but everybody a bit different on that one so if we move the brake bias rearwards from current balance of 55-45 to 54-46 more to the rear and so we've made those couple of changes return to the menu or we'll just back out of here go into our setup and have a look and you can see the changes that have already been made here the engineer has done for us brake pressure is at 90 percent now and the brake balance at 54 46 so when you're happy with uh, what the engineer suggested you want to try them out click done and you will need to save your setup i've got one here the other day i was trying out so save your setup i'm just going to discard it for now and that's what the race engine is all about so he'll give you some tips on which which things to change and he can change them for you save your setup go out and enjoy your tunes in this fantastic game this is steel jockey signing out and looking forward to all seeing you out there on the track come september 22 in project cars 2.